This is the schmo with the pro, Cody Stamen, 11th ranked Bantamweight in the UFC. We're here for UFC Minneapolis. How we doing? I'm great, man. How are you? The schmo can't complain. How's your shoulder? It's good. It's good. Uh, you know, it was a sprain. Uh, originally, we thought it was going to be a lot worse. I was going to need surgery, all that jazz. But luckily enough, uh, you know, everything's held together. I'll be good here in a couple of weeks, ready to get back at it and, you know, beat these guys up. Are you going to have to fight Rob Font again because his bout was canceled because John Lineker, who was going to replace you, that Greensville card, he had to pull out too? Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, honestly, I feel bad for Rob Font. That's tough. One, he got a, you know, quick opponent change. Uh, and then to not be able to fight, that's brutal. That's really, really brutal. I feel bad for him. If the UFC wants to line it up, we're going to run it back. That's fine. I'll fight Rob Font. Um, you know, he's never been my first choice. I really wanted to fight someone that was ranked higher than him. But... Uh, you know, Font's the guy. Let's go get paid. Who's someone that was ranked higher that you wanted to fight? Well, Lineker was one of the guys that I really wanted to fight. Or, uh, you know, Pedro Munoz. One of the guys that's, that's, that's up at the top. You know, actually, my first choice would have been Rafael Sunsal, but he's fighting uh, that kid from Colorado. I can't think of his name. Gangly kid. White kid. What's his name? Cody? Uh, no, no, no. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. What's his name? Uh... Corey Sanhagen. Corey Sanhagen. Corey Sanhagen. <laughs> now you're a big outdoorsman, man. Very good with the wood, man. Yeah, He's yeah. a craftsman. I try to be. What's the most creative thing you've done? Uh, yeah, I do it all, man. I, I, I guess I, you know, I'm like a, I'm like a little bit of a hillbilly. I, you know, we kind of, I fix my own shit. That's just kind of how I was brought up. Uh, I like to, uh, I like to build furniture, honestly, of all the things. It's like. I, I fight, and then I like to do arts and crafts, which is which is pretty odd. But uh, you know, actually, I, I built all the furniture in my house, like my table, uh, like TV stand, all that stuff. So I have like a I have like a wood shop, and I I do that stuff. Like you know, when I'm not you know punch people in the face, making money, I'm doing that. Wow, how long does that take you to make like a couch and a table and all that? Uh, a really long time. You know, I do it pretty sparingly. I'm not like it's not like a religious thing I do every day. So it's kind of like a, an odd hobby that I have. Uh, just keeps me out of trouble. Who taught you this? Your father, family, old runs? Man. Yeah, my old man. The old man. The old man. The old man. Yeah. What's your one message for all your fans out there worldwide? I'm going to be a champ. I'm going to be the UFC champ. You know, it's just a matter of time. I just got to I gotta keep paying my dues, keep keep chipping away. Uh, obviously, you know, my only loss, Aljamain Sterling. You know, he's probably the best guy in the world right now. Uh, you know, someday I'm going to get that fight back. I'm going to beat him up and anybody else who's in my way. With Henry Cejudo out for the remainder of the year, do they need to make an interim belt and have Aljamain Sterling fighting for that interim yeah. belt? Sterling and uh, the Russian kid. Jan. Uh, Peter Jan. Yeah, Peter yeah, Jan. yeah. That's, that's the obvious fight to make. That fight has to happen. Interim fight, you know, they do it every other weight class. Do it for Bantamweight, weight, and then, you know, we'll see. We'll see the chips fall. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm, you know, one fight away from interim title fight, you know, if it's the right fight. He's the pro, Cody Stamen. I'm the schmo here in UFC Minneapolis. We're out.